today is May 28th, Sunday, and uh, I get to sleep in a little bit. It's 9 o'clock, but we have something coming today. Well, it came, which is, let me show you. Washer and dryer. I got this pair of LG washers. The only reason why I got this washer, well, there are multiple reasons. First, this knob is really cool. So, it's very tactile and I like it. And you don't have to pull it out. Like uh, the washer I had before, you have to pull this out to start. Basically, this is so basic that you just press power button and then play. That will just give you cotton normal. And another reason why I got this is all the buttons are physical. No more those touch buttons like on the GE or newer Samsung product. So these are physical buttons. So you just click and it just understands you. You don't have to click hard. You don't have to guess. You don't have to wait for it. It's just instant feedback. Now the next one is the dryer. It's the same thing. So you have the same knob and same buttons. The cool thing about this washer and dryer is that when it's done, you can actually hear the uh, music sound. So it's something refreshing. So every time I hear it, I'm like, oh yeah, it's done. So this is our washer and dryer room. Uh, I open the door a little bit so that the, um, the air can come out. And that top there is gonna be just be our, our basket, our laundry basket. And nothing will go on top. That way it won't get scratched, because I hate scratches. Here's another cool thing is we have a bench here. Let me turn on the light. This is a bench that you can sit down and put on your shoes. So to complement that, I got ourselves a shoe rack that I got from Walmart. I'm gonna return this because when I install it, it wasn't it wasn't um, it was too tight that it ripped. So there's a there's a place here that it got ripped already. You can see that. So I'm gonna return this. And then uh, probably pick something else from Amazon. I stayed up late last night. I got something done. This is going to my office. And I haven't finalized the left side yet. The left side is just basically storage. So we're not going to talk about that today. But the right side. So uh, my, uh, don't mind the cord because I have a plan to hide all those cords without headaches. You know, like how I usually coil them up and make them neat well I, I got a plan for that so just imagine there's no cord there there's a little chair there really really inexpensive uh, inexpensive i think it might be free from work when when they moved so but this is my my station that laptop there is work laptop so and then i have this mx master mouse and this one is a logitech keyboard is solar solar power so which is good because we have a lot of lights coming in so I will never have to change the battery hopefully because there is a battery in there but hopefully I never have to change it now you can see here I have a docking station that would um, everything is all the way in the back all the wires are in the back so I have a 3.5 millimeter jack for my headphones and two Bluetooth 3.0 uh, USB and it's a little button here that I can turn on my uh, My computer now this thing is cool because it's wired through a U a USB-C connection So USB-C is powering the whole laptop So basically when I get home to dock it, I just put the laptop down and then plug in one cord I Have my lights in the back and those two white things there. Those are speakers. Those are J uh, JBL 2.0 I think they call it pebbles and then over here I have my iPhone. Uh, my iPhone is my main phone with me, so I always I have a stand there so I can put my, my phone there while I'm working. And then I have my plants. Now here, here's the, I don't know if that's a real plant or not. I've been watering it, but there are times I just leave it for like a year and it's still alive. And I try to poke it. It's, it's, it feels like a real plant, but I don't know. It, it's just, I hope that I haven't wasted like two years of my life watering these plants. And of course that's my painting. That's not my painting but my, uh, my pictures. I printed out in canvas. This is panorama. That's Pice Peak. 
here I have just this this Dido like uh, name so I got my name in there so even though I'm not done with my office let me show you a little preview of, of what I have here okay, I'm not happy with it because all the cores are dangling and stuff um, over here you, have, you see my Logitech circle I have three of them in the house uh, one of them is here uh, protecting my devices this is, uh, this is my joy uh, this is my HTC Advantage I forgot the model name but this is this is very I love this I used to use this a lot back then this is when HTC used to be the bomb and now I still have remnant of it it's amazing uh, it doesn't have the processor it has now but uh, this thing can be closed the keyboard you can put it on top and close it magnetically here I have my other phone this is the this is the one that I customize myself so I have my my name on here on the bottom is say T Win. It's wood, wood and and it's just beautiful. I, I just love it. Uh, so this one is the Motorola something. I'll I'll try to leave a link in the description so you know what I have here. Here we have the Samsung. Um, I believe this is an S six. Yeah, this is an S six curve. I um this is the first curve version of of Samsung that actually made it popular so that's why I kept it here on top I have my slider uh, you can do it for phone or GoPro and it's automatic it's automated so you can either automate this to go left and right or you can do it manually you can push it manually to have that 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 very smooth shot here I have a chocolate for Nikki I haven't given it to her yet but this one is uh, Nikki gave it to me in just in a long time ago. She made one thousand of these cranes for good luck, and it's always been my my proud prop that I have in my office. Here I have my camera stuff. This is my first camera that I purchased that uh, got me interested into uh, photos. This is a Nikon D seven thousand with the Sigma eighteen to thirty five. This is the best lens, the best affordable lens that I found. It's amazing if you if you are into this research into the Sigma Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter and you know what I mean. The only downside of this is it's really heavy. And I have my stock lens 18 to 140, and I have my 50 millimeter. Here's my flash. I think it's SB 700. Yes. And then my uh, my grip, my ex uh, my extended grip, and with extra battery inside. Got some books. You know my my degree. I wanna hang it up in my office. And I got my Astro, I forgot what that called, Astro A50, yeah, that's an Astro A50, my Bose, I forgot the model, well, everything is going to be linked in, um, in the description, and my Yeti, Yeti microphone. Here, I want to make it neater, so I want to make it into a charging station, but I want to make it neat, right now, it's just like that. So, I, I really hate cords, and especially dangling cords and uh, unorganized cords. Here, I have... I have this uh, this cabinet that I got from IKEA, so I put all my stuff in there. Basically, I I want to design this this office so that I can uh, it's a ready to go kind of thing. If I want to go take a photo shoot, I just have everything in my cabinet. If, if I want to go hiking, uh, I just have everything like here, so I can just grab and go. This is the Low Pro 450 AW. AW stands for uh, all weather. So there's a there's a bag of that that is waterproof. It underneath so you can take it out and when it rains you can cover it but this is uh, my mobile station because I can just lay it like this either in the office or outside in the field and I just take stuff out of it one more thing that TV right there 60 inch TV basically I don't want to leave it on a TV stand like that because it's blocking the fireplace and there's cords everywhere now the reason why I did this is temporary and the second reason is it's really hard to to move your head up and watch TV all the time. So when it's all the way up there, I have to, my head has to be up all the time. So I don't know how to, how to do this. But my my idea is I'm gonna put the TV all the way up there, high all the cords, and leave this place right here empty. That way I can, um, when later on I wanna buy an iRobot, the vacuum cleaner. It's just gonna, it won't, it can clean easily. And plus it looks nicer because basically. Just because you have space doesn't mean you can you have to use it. So I'm I'm using that much space there, you know, that, that we can walk on. Why not put it up here 
where there's a station there. Today is Sunday, which means tomorrow is Memorial Day. Nikki and I are going to have barbecue. So we're going to prepare barbecue for people. Nikki already ordered um, Chinese food in case people cannot wait for the barbecue because, well, I'm not really good at barbecue, but I'm trying. I'm trying to create a, a, a home, a welcome place for families to come over. And as you can see here, we're going to have barbecue outside. Right here, this is our grill. Brink? Brink man. Okay. And I have a new propane tank. And then, that's where when we bought this house, we asked them to give us this, what do you call that, uh, patio furniture, but two of them got blown away. Uh, the, uh, the, seat, the seat cover, not the seat cover, but the seat cushion. But I found those two, I kept those two from the utility room, and I put it there. I, I probably have to tie it down because it's gonna fly away anytime uh, today because Colorado is very windy. Actually, just look at that. Just look at that patio floor. It's just beautiful. Uh, that floor is unique because it's, this is a model home. So it costs extra to have that. 